What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and Tropic Color and today I'm gonna run you guys through a little tutorial on how to use the new Tropic Color uh, film negative photo mats. These are true uh, photo negative mats from all different types of stocks of film um, and they're basically in 35 millimeter, um, all different types of formats from Fuji to Kodak uh from like vertical and these mats are to be used either on video or photo and they're just simple png overlays that you can just overlay onto your footage or your photos for instagram youtube videos just photos like and it just really adds a really cool aesthetic so i'm going to run you through how to do, do a tutorial on that and you can run these easily in photoshop or Premiere. Right now I'm in Premiere and I'm gonna show you how to add them to videos or photos in Premiere, but you can also add these to photos in Photoshop if you want as well. Um, so basically here I have some uh, the, of the mats on the side, the different photo mats. There's so many, I think there's 50 plus. And I'm just gonna simply start out with uh, this one right here, this Kodak 800. I'm gonna throw it into the timeline here over my foot, oops. <laughs> over my footage right here of this clip of Tom. So here you can see the uh, Kodak uh, film mat right here, photo negative mat. Um, and I'm just gonna size, I can size it up to fit the whole frame, de-uniform the scale and make it fit. Or I can simply size it down to do a cool effect in my edit, bring it in about right there. Then I can take this clip behind it size it down to fit just on the inside then i can move it and again i can uniform scale this thing up uh, if i really really want to to fit the full frame so it acts as like a border for my whole video but right now i'm just gonna oops put this crop on the wrong thing crop on the clip i'm gonna drag that over Drag it from the right, crop it. Now, if I wanted to, I could throw, I could leave it as is. I could throw a white background behind it so it really pops. So you can see how it acts as the border for my video clip. Now, if I really wanted to, I could add some grain texture to really fit this film photo mat. I could blur the image a little bit. I could blur the mat if I wanted to, but this is a really cool way to add, you know, texture, framing, and different things to your videos. And you can do this with all the different types of mats. So you can see all the different mats along the side here, different Cine Stills, Fuji. I'm gonna drag this one in just to show you guys another example of what I can do with this footage. All right, so I've dragged in the mat over this clip of this waterfall here. And now I'm gonna go in and size it how I wanna size it. So we'll just scale the photo negative back. And we can either have it fit the full frame, I could de-uniform scale it, and I could stretch it across the whole frame like this. I can size it and skinny it out like that. I mean, you can really play with how you want this to look. I could widen it this much, scale down the height and widen it. I mean, there's so many different ways you can play with it but I'm gonna check the uniform scale back, size it down to kind of fit, um, you know, I, I don't know if I want it, yeah, we'll leave it like that. Then I can pick the framing of the clip behind it, the waterfall will center it right in the middle, then we'll crop it in so that we don't see the edges. As you can see, it's a simple PNG. You just overlay it, your footage, and then crop it in. Boom. So now I can play it back and we have this clip sitting inside a photo negative. I can add color, grain, blur it. I can do all the things to it that I wanna do to it. I'm not gonna do that in this video. It's simply showing you all the different ways you can utilize these mats. So I could take this same premise and I can export it out and then I can take that same effect and apply it to uh, still photos too. Again, you can do this in Photoshop or in um, Premiere here, but simply, I could take this and find the framing I want. We'll go right there, take this photo, size it up to fit. I could blur it, 
I can add grain, I can do whatever I want right now, right? And I can do this in Photoshop or Premiere, Command Shift 4, and I can simply drag, take a screenshot, and a high res photo I can now post to Instagram. Awesome photo with the Kodak frame, like we took it on film, and you can upload that again. Instagram, whatever you wanna do, share it on Facebook, Twitter, uh, but it's a great way, these negatives are a way to add texture, borders to your videos, photos, or anything where you really kinda wanna get creative and add that extra film aesthetic and look. So on this clip of Kyle right here, I could take this same photo mat, I can scale it down, and I could trim it. I could stack a couple of these together side by side, do some split screen stuff. I could chop this clip so it fits within inside this whole vertical thing. I could de-uniform size scale it and make it just super, you know, fit within this parameter. I can make it fill the full frame and widen it out. There's so many ways that you can get creative with this stuff. So now I could make this you know, Kodak frame the whole border to my whole video if I wanted to. So again, so many ways to get creative and have fun with these different mats for photo, video, uh, super easy to use, drag and drop, PNGs, and that's that, simple as that.